afternoon everyone. I'm in my back garden today and I'm going to do a quick pitch and review of my Vaudé monolith three person tent. This is a bike touring tent I've had for about 20 possibly even 25 years. Uh, the reason I'm doing this pitch and review today is because my daughter and her friends have been using this in the Lake District last week so I'm going to put it up to air it out and I think it might need a bit of seam sealing so we'll crack on it and get this pitched. Thank you. 
Right, that's the Vorium monolith, very roughly pitched. Took me a little bit longer than I expected because uh, I haven't pitched this for a good 10 years. I see my daughter and her friends pitched it in the lakes last week. It served them well, although they didn't experience any particularly bad weather. It's actually a huge tent, this. Uh, not bigger than I remember. So all I've got to do now is um, hang the interior. So I'll have a quick look inside and see how I'm going to do that. Perhaps if I take the peg out. This tent is a two-part tent. Basically one tent, one part is your living quarters and the other part is for storing your bikes and your baggage etc. So I'm going to put the inside in now and give you a look around. As I mentioned this tent is quite old easy 20 years possibly 25 and if you look some of the seam seal definitely needs redoing so before i hang the inner i'm just going to scrub this old stuff off and then i'm going to have a trip to the shops to get myself some seam seal and get that fixed shouldn't be too big a job but like i say for 20 years it hasn't done too badly Right, that's the inner tent or sleeping quarters attached. Let's have a quick look in there. It is quite large in here. It's supposed to be, like I say, a three person tent, but uh, it's a tight fit for three people. But I believe there's three lads um, using this tent last week, so no complaints from them. Got a couple of pockets in there. So for 20, 25 year old uh, tent technology, I think it's not doing too bad. Like I say, this area here is for your bike storage, luggage, etc. It could be a great cooking area. That door on the other side opens as well, so you can have it completely wide open. Even these side panels here open up. In fact, I'll open it right up now and show you how, how far it opens. There's lots of guy points as well. I only put two on because it's just for demonstration purposes. But I once used this for a uh, week's camping in the Isle of Man for the TT races. One night there was a huge storm. Woke up in the morning, a lot of the large family tents on the site were down, but uh, this stood strong and served me very well. Just open it up now and show you the full effect. There you go, it's opened up, so it's got quite a significant socialising or cooking area. It's easy to pull one of the sides down if there's a bit of rain or wind, keep you protected. These pegs have always been in some uh, very hard ground at some point. I'll straighten them out and get myself some new ones. Right, that's my pitch and uh, a very brief review of the Vaudier monolith, three person tent complete. I'm going to get it down now and like I mentioned the seams need sealing so I'll uh, get myself off to the shops now, get some seam sealer and I'll uh, maybe do another video of this, the seam sealing procedure. But it's a great tent, um, huge living space, huge storage space, not really a backpacking tent but it is intended to be a bike packing or touring tent. Uh, served me well for 20 plus years and served my daughter and her friends well last week so it's still going strong so as always guys thank you very much for watching and uh, catch you in the next video thank you bye